Guy, if you had to estimate how long will it take till the Israeli stage in Boston will succeed in persuading a serious theater to have an Israeli play full-fledged. Sure. How, what full, will be how far we are from a full production. Wonderful. Thank you for helping me. We're, uh, we're $45,000 short. Ah, okay. So, not that much. Uh-huh. This is uh, the power of, of philanthropy. <laughs> so, we're just uh, a donor away, if you will. But the other thing is that we're, we're talking to a, f to a few French companies in Boston, doing full productions in the French. So that could be a first step. And the second step for us is to do a, a full uh, production, professional production, and sort of a medium-sized theater. Uh, and I hope to do Gilad de Vron's Ulysses on Bottles, ah. which is a show that uh, is near and dear to my heart and is near and dear to the heart of the actors that we did the reading with, mm -hmm. uh, which were really top-notch actors. Uh, Will Lyman was uh, the voice of Frontline from PBS, and uh, wonderful actors joining mm -hmm. him, Johnny Lee Davenport. Mm -hmm. They all keep asking me when we're going to do it, so uh -huh. we have to do it soon. <laughs> It's not that uh, Israeli uh, plays are not being uh, shown in the States. It happens from time to time. Once in a blue moon it happens, yeah. It's rare. It's very rare. It's usually the same theater companies. Uh, theater J, which is led by Ari Roth uh, in Washington, D.C. Right. He does full productions. Right. And there are productions of Israeli plays. Mm -hmm. This year he's bringing Moti Lerner. And he's doing a new show by him. And last year he did Apples from the Desert by Savion Liebrecht. Uh, but it is not often uh, at all. Okay. Uh, there are some readings here and there, uh, nothing that is sort of continuous and constant. Okay. Yet. Earlier, we have discussed, before we started this conversation, uh, we have discussed that in addition to the Israeli stage, you are also very busy with... <laughs> The German one, the Swiss one, and the French one. Yes. Maybe a few words about this, how they coincide or not. Sure. They're sort of, I see them as sister companies uh, to a mothership of international stage. An empire. Uh, an empire. An empire. Uh, a friend of mine who's an actor said to me, what are you slowly doing country by country? And I said, why not? Uh, I think that it's, uh, it's something that American theater landscape is missing. So far, uh, not enough shows are being shown that are written by foreign playwrights and translated into English. And I think that's something that will uh, appeal to audiences and does appeal to audiences, as we can see. People come to the readings that we do. Uh, so the German stage uh, was born uh, over a year ago uh, under the leadership of Detlef Gericke Schönhagen, who's the director of the Goethe Institute in Boston. Uh, he came to see the banality of love. Uh, by Sofjan Liebrecht, saw a full room packed with an audience uh, that wouldn't leave during a talkback in the reception, saw the buzz, the cultural buzz, <laughs> and decided uh, that he wanted one of his own. Mm -hmm. So we started German Stage, and so far we've done four German plays, a world premiere that has toured from Toronto to Atlanta, three American premieres where we've brought the playwrights to work on new translations, uh, and now we're bringing, again, another American premiere in October called Mama Lotion. Mama Lotion from Yiddish. Of course. A play about uh, three generations of Jewish women uh, in East Germany. Uh huh. So it should be very interesting. And uh, once the German stage started rolling, uh, Swiss stage came in, and we're launching that now in September through Swiss Next Boston, which is the Swiss consulate in Boston. And uh, we're doing a wonderful new play called Dog Paddle. A relatively new translation that'll be a New England premiere and now I'm in talks with the French consulate in the French Cultural Center the Alliance Francaise of Boston uh, and we're just trying to find a, the right French play for uh, the Boston audiences Wow so once we find that uh, we'll have the launch of uh, another sister initiative you are a busy man guy I try to keep one <laughs> but it seems you are uh, enjoying tremendously what you are doing I get to do what I love it's uh, not too many people can say that so and the very lucky and the strong believer in theater yes so what can we wish you for the future 
lots of great luck and uh, maybe a collaboration with Culture Buzz. Okay, so <laughs> we are happy to do so. We wish you all that and much more than that. Toda rabagai. Toda. Shalom velitrot. Velitrot.